Hi, my name is Leighton Oyefeso, and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Uh, before we get started, uh, we would greatly appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button below. Today we'll be going into how to edit lookup table data. Um, so in order to get to the lookup table area in the Technicians Client, go ahead and go to the Tools drop-down menu, and then we're going to go to Table Management. So today we're going to take a look at the product catalog. And now you'll see a list of all of the hardware that's in, uh, in, in the system. Now what we're looking at here is demo data. So this isn't actually any hardware that's in the system for a particular company. So if we go ahead and double click on the Dell Optiplex here, we'll see um, some information regarding that piece of equipment. We'll see status, uh, name, manufacturer, category, and if you scroll down, you'll see more detailed data as far as cost, accessories, and, and full descriptions. So if you go back to the initial product catalog uh, screen of the lookup table, you'll notice that there's an area here that you can drag column headers into to, uh, to group information. So if you were to take the manufacturer column heading and just drop that into that area you'll then see a different view where manufacturers are now grouped by you know similar similar manufacturers so you can go ahead and look at all of the uh, pieces of hardware made by apple you can see all of the pieces of hardware made by samsung and so forth and so on and you can even go from there and then group by status. So if you have, you know, pieces of equipment that are active or in retired status, you would then be able to group further by manufacturer and status. And then you can take those column headers and also drop them back. Now, in order to edit or add a product catalog entry, you can click on the new button here and the new button will recognize that you're viewing the product catalog and it will present you with a blank form. You can then uh, populate the fields on this form as it pertains to the new equipment that you'll be using in your company. And if you need to edit a pre-existing entry, then for example, we'll edit the Dell Optiplex entry here. And let's say we want to go ahead and change the status from active to retired because we're no longer going to be using this piece of equipment in our company. So then we go ahead and click that drop down menu, select retired, and then we save that. And when we go back to the main screen here, we'll now see that the status is retired and the overall look of that particular uh, entry has changed. The green check marks here um, all mean that these pieces of equipment are active in the system now, and because this is now retired, you see that it's now gray. So that is a quick uh, tutorial on how to update lookup table, table data. Uh, I hope you found this information valuable. And once again, please uh, feel free to subscribe and click the like button. Uh, that definitely helps us get these videos out to you so, uh, so that you can find them a little bit easier. Uh, again, thank you for viewing the video and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.